Australia, you guys. One of the top questions we get asked all the time as full-time travelers is how do we feel comfortable being away from home for so long? And the answer is that really we make anywhere that we are at the time our home. And so we thought it would be fun if we took you through a typical weekend in our lives here in Sydney, Australia and show you a few of the ways that we make anywhere in the world feel like home. Starting with the first one, which is shopping at local markets. This one you guys recommended a lot to us, which is called Carriage Works. Yeah, right? Carriage Works Farmers Market. It's on the other side of this yeah. brick wall. And they sell anything from fresh produce, coffee, flowers, like so much stuff. It's open every Saturday, every week here in Sydney. And a lot of you have recommended it to us. Yes. So we've been dying to check it out. Pretty much any major big city that we travel to has a bunch of markets that specialize in selling specific stuff. And we're planning to have a nice little picnic on the beach today. I'm so excited. <laughs> so we thought it'd be fun if we shopped here to get some stuff for that, instead of just going to like a regular chain supermarket. They're so big and juicy. <laughs> I forgot how to say this, but it's like a dried cured Oh, meat. it's like a legit sausage yeah. maker. He yes. knew so many amazing facts about sausage. It was like a French guy, so sweet. And then we got some blue cheese and a baguette. Fresh this is baguette. gonna be such a good picnic. All right, so we have to pack all this up mm -hmm. and then we're gonna also bring a blanket yes. and Ryland's iPad because we are downloading episodes of Breaking Bad to watch because we've been re-watching it lately. Yes, it's so good. But it's a bummer because the Australian Netflix doesn't have Breaking Bad, mm -hmm. but that actually brings me to the next way that we make anywhere in the world feel like home, which is using a VPN to maintain access to our favorite TV shows and movies from yes. anywhere around the world. Mm -hmm. And we do this using the sponsor of today's video, which is Surfshark. Mm -hmm. Surfshark VPN swaps the real location of your device with a new one by changing your IP address. This way you can virtually travel to any country around the globe. Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, so no matter where we are in the world, we can always switch our IP address so that we can maintain access to all of our favorite movies and TV shows. We were so bummed when we found out that Breaking Bad wasn't available on the Australian Netflix, but then we used Surfshark to connect to an IP address back in the United States, and then there were all the episodes of Breaking Bad, and we were so happy because it just made us feel like we were at home again. On top of this, we love using Surfshark VPN because it encrypts your online data and helps to secure your personal information when you're using public Wi-Fi networks like in airports or cafes. And masking your IP address is essential to maintaining your privacy online. So secure your privacy with Surfshark. Click the link in the description and enter our coupon code WANRYLAN for an extra three months free. And the cherry on top is Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's absolutely no risk in trying it out. With that being said, we are all done packing this up <laughs> and it's time to head out to the beach. Yes. All right, so another way that we make anywhere in the world feel like home is by listening to the suggestions of locals wherever we are. And a lot of you guys are Sydney siders that have been watching our videos. And a ton of you have been suggesting that we take the ferry from Circular Quay to Manly Beach. All right, you see one? Yeah, 3.45. 3.45, wharf three. 
so we gotta go down. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Public transportation here in Sydney is just amazing. It's so easy and affordable. Yeah. Like you just can scan your card and walk right in. I know. That's the same thing with the metro, the trams, the ferries, everything like that. So easy. And supposedly this ride is going to be amazing and have some of the best views ever. We got great seats. Look, <laughs> the view. Right there. We're gonna get the best view in the house. I'm excited. My hair look. <laughs> <laughs> Same. My hair blew so much. Yeah, I got a <laughs> blowout, man. I yeah. got a blowout. But that was so fun, you guys. And beautiful, beautiful views. You guys are the best. Thank you for the suggestion. I was just telling Ryland it almost compares to the lunch cruise that we did last week. I mean, obviously that one came with an amazing lunch yeah. and everything, but still. If you ever are looking for a way to get the same views, yeah. that costs 66 cents. Which is crazy. But right now we are walking to Manly Beach. It's right over there. And we have all of our picnic stuff. Yeah, and I'm course. starving. Oh so yeah, hungry. so hungry, so I'm ready for this. <laughs> We're gonna find a nice little spot and have a beautiful beach day together. <laughs> Another way that we make anywhere in the world feel like home is finding our spots. Yes. This one is huge for us. One of the first things we do in any new city is get familiar with our neighborhood, yeah. find our favorite cafes and restaurants. <laughs> and during this month here in Sydney, it's definitely been basically this alleyway right here, <laughs> which right there is room 10 which is actually the first place that we ate breakfast. On our first day here, Yeah, right? And then right here has been our newest obsession. Yeah, it's so good. It's called Pina. Right, I do not even know why I'm bothering to look at the menu because we know exactly what we want. <laughs> so, so are we ready to order? Yes, we are. I do the crispy sweet potato. Sweet potato, yeah. Can I add an extra sauce? Extra sauce, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. So good. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> It always hits, huh? Look at this. It's the perfect breakfast sandwich. Looks so good. It's got egg, hash browns, bacon, cheese, and this right here is harissa. It's amazing. Yeah. 
Yay! <laughs> the best part. It's so big. <laughs> this is the sourdough pancake, and it is so good. And I promise, it's actually light and fluffy, even though it looks like an absolute unit. Yeah, it looks like a monster. It's huge. All right, here we go. This whole meal, you guys have to try piña if you're in Sydney. Wow. So another way that we have been making anywhere in the world feel like home is sticking to our personal goals. And what we mean by this is a lot of times in the past with traveling, we have neglected our fitness. Mm -hmm. But recently I found an app called ClassPass. Mm -hmm. This isn't sponsored by Yeah, it's not sponsored, but they're so amazing. We can book like open gym classes, yoga, Pilates, anywhere we are in the world. Yeah, so pretty much. So it's super helpful. And so Ryland introduced me to that and ever since then we've really just been sticking to our fitness mm -hmm. no matter where we are yeah and it's such a great way to still feel like you're at home because you're <laughs> still like keeping up with your personal goals yes. and travel isn't really getting in the way of that so you don't feel the effect as much mm -hmm. so we booked a really great class this morning it's a perfect <laughs> Sunday morning class it's just mm -hmm. like a slow reformer Pilates class yeah. and we're on our way there now spot called Wendy Whitley's Secret Garden. Mm -hmm. I could spend like all day here. <laughs> yeah, it's so peaceful, mm -hmm. so green, and it's got this killer view of the city. It's yeah. unbelievable. And that brings me to arguably the most important way that we make ourselves feel at home mm -hmm. in a city like Sydney. Yeah. Which is just allowing ourselves to take slow days. Yes. Since most of the week we are filming, going from one thing to the next yeah. thing, we're very fast paced on mm. most days. It's important for us to really take days that are slow yeah. and kind of appreciate the city yeah. on a different level. Like understand what is it like to actually live here. Yeah. So doing things like this, like for example today, we plan to just sit here for a few hours. Mm. We have our books. <laughs> And we're just gonna relax, yeah. read, talk to each other, yeah. and take in this amazing view.